This is the question of 2015, May, June, paper 13, and the question number is uh, 21. So it says a W-shaped tube, so this is W-shaped tube, contains two amounts of mercury. So one is over here, from here to here, and another is from here to here, two amounts of mercury. Each open to the atmosphere, atmosphere. Air at pressure P, pressure P is trapped in between them. So we have air column from here to here. The diagram shows two vertical distances, uh, X and uh, Y. Now, uh, the atmospheric pressure is equal to the pressure that is exerted by the column of mercury of height of 7 cm. This is the stand standard. The pressure P is expressed in this way. So we have uh, uh, X, Y and pressure P in all the columns. So we need to find which value of X, Y and P are possible. So let us first uh, uh, realize that, realize that, uh, the distance is here 50 millimeter y and x so this is small distance is let us find this this small distance is 50 minus y y millimeter 50 minus y millimeter now if i consider uh, consider this region from here to here if i consider this region the pressure at this side is simply p this p pressure this side and the pressure at this side should be equal to so this pressure is equal to let's write here so i'll be writing here the pressure at this side will be equal to it is simply atmospheric pressure which is a pa plus plus this x if i express it in terms of height of mercury and that's equal to that's equal to uh, 760 plus x and the pressure at this side is it's equal to simply p simply p so that means we have 760 plus x should be equal to p should be equal to p 760 plus x equal to p now if i come to this side here the pressure here is simply p simply p and if you look from this side, this side, the pressure will now be equal to, so this pressure will be equal to pressure of atmosphere, atmosphere plus pressure of this column of mercury, which is equal to, equal to 50 minus y. And that's equal to 760, 760 plus 50 minus y. Now, since the pressure here here should be equal, I must have I must have p equal to p equal to 760 plus 50 minus y. Now, if I compare these two equations, these two equations, these two equations, I must have. If I compare these two equations, I must have 760 plus x should be equal to 760 plus 50 minus y so i cancel these two which gives me which gives me x plus y is equal to 50 so that means we have x plus y should be equal to 50 millimeter so if you go through that uh, this is choice number a is not correct because it's 20 plus 20 40 and this is also uh, this uh, d is also not correct because it is uh, 30 30 plus 30 which is equal to 60 60 so we have x plus y 50 now if you look at look here x is smaller and y is larger x smaller and y larger so that means among these two we should have larger x larger y and a smaller x larger y and smaller x so that means that that means the only choice that we have here is choice number b c is also not correct and choice number b should be correct now uh, to further confirm it to further confirm it what we can do is uh, so this x is equal to uh, x is equal to 20 y is equal to 30 if i use the value of x in equation number one so it is a 760 plus a 20 is equal to 
P or P is equal to 780 millimeter which is in choice number B once again so choice number B should be the correct answer